the United Kingdom recognize the Palestinian state? This question is buzzing in Western capitals, courtesy David Cameron, the Foreign Secretary of the UK. He has said that the UK is indeed considering recognizing Palestine. The remarks were made on Monday at a private reception in London. And during that event, Cameron said that Britain is ready to bring forward a proposal that would formally recognize the Palestinian state. Let me quote his exact remarks first. The Palestinian people would have to be shown irreversible progress towards a two-state solution. As that happens, we with allies will look at the issue of recognizing a Palestinian state, including at the United Nations. That could be one of the things that helps to make this process irreversible. And that's not all. Cameron also urged Israel to allow more humanitarian support into Gaza. He further added that it was ludicrous that vital British and other aid was being sent back to the border. He said that the last 30 years had been a story of failure for Israel, apparently because it had failed to provide security to its citizens, and only by recognizing that failure would there be peace and progress. Remember, the UK has long supported a two-state solution, a solution where Israelis and Palestinians could live side by side in separate countries. But this time, what Cameron is basically suggesting is that Britain could give formal and diplomatic recognition to a Palestinian state. At the same time, he is suggesting that there would have to be a new Palestinian authority with technocratic and good leaders who are able to govern Gaza. But the question is, is Israel interested in such a plan? Well, last week during a meeting in Jerusalem, Cameron had pushed Netanyahu for a two-state solution in order to bring peace for both Israelis and the Palestinian people. But Netanyahu had rebuffed the plan. He called it an attempt to coerce Israel. He said that the plan could endanger the state of Israel. This time, Cameron seems more firm about the plan. In fact, the very timing of his proposal is striking to say the least. This week, Cameron will make his fourth visit to West Asia. Since being appointed Foreign Secretary in November 2023, the visit will start with Oman, where Cameron is expected to call for stability amid the Houthi attacks in the Red Sea. As the UK makes these efforts, Israel is also conducting peace talks with Hamas on its own. The talks primarily revolve around the calls for a ceasefire and the release of all hostages from Hamas's custody. And how are these talks faring, you ask? Well, the Israeli Prime Minister's office says that the most recent round of talks was quite constructive. It was talking about a four-way meeting involving the US, Israel, Qatar and Egypt that took place in Europe. The office added that there were still gaps regarding the peace deal to be adopted for a ceasefire and the release of hostages. But that these issues may get ironed out this week itself. The meeting is believed to have been held in Paris. In attendance were the Director of Central Intelligence Agency, William Burns, David Barnea, the head of the Mossad Intelligence Agency, the Qatari Prime Minister, and the Egyptian Intelligence Chief. So on one hand, Israel is considering striking peace with Hamas. On the other, the UK is considering recognizing the Palestinian state, notwithstanding that Israel is against this. So could the UK's plan disrupt the peace talks? Could it pull Israel away from the negotiating table? Only time will tell. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.